We're going to use the same values, but we're going to change one of the connection types. Don't worry. I see some great questions in the chat. Most of these questions are going to, they're going to answer themselves as we work through these examples. Um, but if you still have those questions, once you're done, I'm happy to address them. But for the most part, each of these exercises is designed uh, to answer that. All right. Example number two, we're at the top of page 15. Example number two, calculate the line current and power factor. Okay, same values as before that we're trying to solve for. From a 208 volt, three phase Y connected power supply. So no change to my line voltage, no change to my connection type, Y connected from a power supply. Feeding a three phase balance, one plus J5. Uh oh, look at that. Now we've got a delta connected load. So my one plus J5 ohms, it's not from A to neutral, B to neutral, C to neutral. Now my one plus J5 is from A to B. That's A phase. It's from B to C. That's our B phase. And it's from C back to A. That's going to be the C phase of our delta connected load. So we've got the same impedance value, but now it's delta connected. Question, is this the delta equivalent load of the previous one plus J5 ohm Y connected impedance? Yes or no? Good, it is not, it is not, it is not. These two different loads are gonna draw different amounts of line current and power. We did not use that impedance conversion formula to go from that Y value to this Delta. This is as if I've got one plus, I've got three one plus J five ohm complex impedances. The previous example, we connected them in a Y connection. In this example, we shut the breaker off, pulled them apart, and then I connected them in a Delta triangle. It's not, not the equivalent impedance. All right, ready to get started. Time to draw the single phase equivalent circuit. What value can I use that face value? What value gets plugged, plucked from the three phase circuit and dropped right in the single phase equivalent circuit? Yeah, Z line. So no change. One plus J two ohm impedance on our line. All right. What about our voltage A to neutral? Hmm. If I've got 208 volts from A to B and it's Y connected, then I know from A to neutral, I've got what? I take my line voltage, 208 volts, and I divide it by the, oops, sorry, I divide it by the square root of three. That's our Y phase voltage, right? That's this voltage right here from A to neutral. Just like, look, A to neutral in our single phase equivalent circuit and A to neutral down here. All right, hmm. What variable goes in this box? Is this, I know this is my load, so I'm gonna draw Z. I know it's a complex impedance. I'm gonna give it a vector hat. My load is delta connected. Is this Z delta down here? No, it's always what? Good job. It's all, this is always ZY, always ZY. All right, I look at my three phase equivalent, my, excuse me, my three phase circuit. Do I have ZY in here? I don't, right? These are what? These are each Z delta because it's delta connected. So how do I convert from Z delta to Z Y? I'm going to take my delta impedance. I'm going to do what to it? Yeah, divide by three. I'm just dividing by three. Remember, we simplified the unbalanced impedance conversion formula last class to this one. To go from delta to Y, divide by three. To go from Y to delta, multiply by three. The delta is the bigger, bigger one. So to get to the Y, we got to divide by three. All right, it's all set up, right? Here's my current in my single phase equivalent circuit. I can call this the complex phase current in my single phase equivalent circuit. Honestly, I always just call it I line to remind myself that's the magic. All right, Ohm's law, V equals I times Z. We're solving for the current I. I equals V over Z. This is a complex current, so I need to use my complex voltage and complex impedance. 
I'm solving for the total current in this series circuit. So am I going to use the voltage drop across my line conductor, the voltage drop across my delta load? If I'm solving for I, I got to use what? I'm going to use the total, total voltage in the power supply, A to neutral. If I'm using the total voltage from A to neutral, then I've got to use the total impedance from capital A all the way to capital neutral. That's our equivalent impedance. All right, let's plug in some numbers. No change to our voltage, right? We still have 208 volts divided by the square root of three. I'm going to leave the angle blank for now, but I guarantee you already know what I'm going to ask. Dividing by the equivalent impedance, any change there from the last problem? Um, kind of, right? I still have two impedances in series, so I can sum them up. There's no change to the line impedance, one plus J2 ohms, but now what? Now we've got the delta, or excuse me, we've got the Y equivalent of the delta. So this is the equivalent Y impedance of this delta. It's the equivalent of just one phase, right? This is the A phase Y equivalent of our A phase delta. So I've got one plus J five ohms. That's our delta load. And we divide it by three to get the Y equivalent impedance that's in our single phase equivalent circuit. All right, last step. What am I gonna use for my voltage reference angle? What's well, the easiest reference angle you're gonna use? Yeah, zero degrees, just like before. All right, in my calculator, I'm gonna scroll up. I already typed most of this in last time. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this to, to a Y equivalent. So I'm gonna delete my delta. I'm gonna put a fraction sign. One plus J5, there's my delta, divide by three, there's my Y equivalent. Enter one more time, there's my line current. All right, what does everyone get for the complex line current? Remember, we made this problem up, so help me check my work. This is uh, 30 point, I'm around to one decimal, 30.8 amps. An angle of negative 70, do I round up, do I round down? Don't know yet, I got a tab over. I'm gonna keep it right at negative 70 degrees. All right, problem asks for the magnitude, so I'm just gonna drop the angle. Here's the first answer to this question. We're drawing 30.8 amps if we round to one decimal place, or we're drawing about 31 amps if we round to the nearest whole amp. All right, next step, power factor. This time we're gonna do it right here first. What does my power angle equal? No math required, no calculator required. What's theta? Theta is gonna be 70 degrees, beautiful. How do we know? How do I already know theta is 70 degrees? Two things, what are they? Two things. Theta equals negative theta I, said Ellen, that's one. What condition is required to use theta equals negative theta I phase? We use zero degrees for, good job, Annabelle. Annabelle said theta V phase is zero degrees, beautiful. All right, so power factor, I'm just taking the cosine of 70 degrees. 70.0, 70 we could just type in cosine 70. You're more than welcome to do that. I'm going to be as exact as possible. I'm going to get you in the habit of doing that for AIT questions, for fill in the blanks. Look, I'm going to go into my complex menu, and I'm going to tell my calculator, give me the polar angle of the current. Polar angle, angle of the current is negative 70. Hey, multiply that by negative 1 so I can calculate theta. Theta 70, now I can take the cosine of theta. Power factor is 0 0.34. Really, really bad again. All right, leading or lagging, how do we know? Lagging, how do we know? Two things we can look at. How do we know it's lagging? What are the two conditions? Current lags voltage, yes. That's one, Allison because the current is negative when the voltage is zero degrees. So I don't even have to subtract them. I already know current is behind, it's lagging. That's the first one. Second one is uh, Nathan said theta is positive, beautiful. 
That was the second answer, 0 0.34. How does that compare to the previous one really quick? Let's check. They're pretty similar? No, nah, okay, they're different enough. All right, let's verify it on the left. Um, how do we calculate power factor the long way? Well, power factor is the cosine of theta. What does theta equal? Theta is the difference between what two angles? Who can tell me in the chat? Theta something minus theta something. V minus I, okay, theta V minus theta I, like that. Maybe line voltage and line current. Or what? Good job, Vinit. Vinit said uh, V phase minus I phase angles. Beautiful. And remember, we can use the line current as long as we use the phase voltage angle because we're using the single phase equivalent circuit. The phase current really is the line current. All right, so we use zero degrees right here for our phase voltage angle. Watch out for this negative sign. It gets people in trouble sometimes. You can't touch it. Here's theta. Theta is already negative. Don't confuse this negative with this negative. Theta is already negative. So I've got, look, negative times negative is positive. Theta is 70, right? We already know our theta is what? 0 0.34 lagging. All right, that's an example of using a delta load. What about if we go to a back to a Y load, but this time we're going to have a delta connected power supply. Hmm, interesting. Well, we already know how to convert from a delta impedance to the Y equivalent, right? We divide the, the delta impedance by three to get our Y equivalent impedance. So how do we find our Y equivalent power supply of our Delta connection? It's even easier. We're using the same values that we made up <clears throat> on the spot. I think I'm gonna shift these over just a little bit to the left. So I don't gotta shrink them down so much. Um, okay, uh, number three, example three, calculate the line current and power factor, no change. Um, three phase, 208 volt. Aha, here's the change. We've got a delta connected power supply feeding a three phase balanced one plus J5 ohm Y connected load. So, just like the first problem, our load is Y connected. One plus J2 ohm line impedance, no difference. Soon balance and positive sequence, no difference. All right, 208 volts. Is that the line voltage of the system or is that the phase voltage? Both, said Big Mike. Yeah, it's both. Why is it both? Why is it both? It's delta. Remember we uh, we showed the delta square root of three relationships, KVL, KCL relationships last night. I can call this V line or I can call it V phase, right? Here's my line voltage of my system. Here's my delta phase voltage. From A to B. They're the same. The voltage from here to here plus minus is the same as the voltage from here to here plus minus. 